Hey guys, this video is going to be about my friend's super light AR build. He's um, I took this to quite a few extremes to uh, lighten it. Um, I, in a previous video, I made this handguard for him. Um, you can see it's on here now, and it works really well. Uh, I did not need the clamp when I put this when I installed this um, on the upper. I uh, I had to put the upper in the vise, and I put actually two strap wrenches on here uh, just to, just to grip it. And I, I had to twist it while pushing with my full body weight. So there's no way this thing is coming off under vibration or on its own. It has, he's got, um, he said he, had, he shot four mags through it. So that's 120 rounds and nothing's moved at all. Nothing's cracked. And if you take calipers and you measure the OD here and the OD here, it's a few thou uh, bigger here. So it's, it's definitely nice to have the, uh, the, the, the cuts here and then one on this side, um, just so you can get it on there. I think uh, if you actually had a full interference fit where I, I took another thou off the barrel nut, um, you just got to be really careful because if you take too much off, then um, it will be loose. Uh, he's got, uh, this is a, not a DI gun, this is a piston gun. Um, he's got the superlative arms uh, system in here. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see the, uh, yeah, you can see the gas adjustment there. Um, so he really wanted a, um, a piston gun, not a DI gun. Um, uh, the lower is a uh, Tennessee Arms lower. The, uh, he's got a B5 Systems lightweight grip. I think he said that the K-grip, the Magpul K-grip is actually lighter. Um, on the end he's got a um, the Mission First Tactical uh, Minimalist stock, which I, I like a lot. Um, and then uh, another crazy thing he did was he, he we opened up the, the buffer and we took all the weights out. Um, so I don't know where the weights went. Uh, I got them somewhere around here. Well, I can't seem to find the weights right now, but um, we opened up the buffer. There's a, there's a roll pin you drive out and a whole bunch of, I think, three weights, and there's a couple cushions in there. Uh, those all come out, and uh, yeah, he took them all out and uh, turned the gas all the way down. And then we, he, he worked his, uh, his way up slowly to, uh, to the point where it would cycle and then a little bit more so that it would lock the bolt open. And as a result, it's actually really, um, it's, uh, really soft recoiling. And uh, the barrel is, a, is the one-pound uh, Faxon barrel. So as you can see, it's four and a half pounds right now. Uh, but I do have a way that he can save a little bit more weight. Uh, he's got the, uh, I think the uh, BCM gunfighter uh, charging handle on there. So he can save a little bit there, but he really likes that one. So this is the other one. This is the other method uh, I have for him. I, I, uh, this is the uh, a uh, rifle tube uh, instead of um, this guy with the adjustable. Um, collapsible stock so this would this would be fixed for him and then I was going to 3d print a a shoulder stock for him uh, I, th I forget who makes uh, a similar one um, but this, this is a little bit different design um, the, the back of this tube is uh, threaded right there for a screw so you can um, you can stick your screw in there and then uh, put a, a foam cushion over that and you can see there's, there's a reinforcing rib and I actually ran out of filament. I forgot to check how much filament I had left. So um, this was just a prototype anyways, it doesn't matter. I was printing at, printing at a pretty high speed and it's, it's pretty strong. So I think it'll work for him. I need to definitely extend it out further. Uh, it's not gonna add much weight. So this is a quarter pound for the tube and the, the stock piece. And then if, um, compared to what he's got on there now, the, uh, the adjustable tube and then the MFT stock, that's 0.7. So um, com coming down from four and a half pounds, he could have a sub four pound um, piston AR, which um, he's not really cutting any, well, that, that weight does not include the optic, but th that's, um, that's fine. Um, so he's not really cutting any corners except that he cannot put a front uh, front sight post on his uh, his carbon fiber handguard. So that's uh, that's pretty much what this video is about. Um, if you want one of these, I will uh, look at keep an eye on the description below. When I um, I need to make a couple more revisions because I, I need to fix the angle on this. I obviously don't need the need, it's it's coming out here and I obviously don't need that. Um, but I also need to extend this down so that um, it's actually a more usable length. And. Yeah, once I get that done, um, I don't really want to make a whole other video just for this guy. But if you think I should, then um, then let me know in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, um, yeah, I'll post this uh, post a link to the download in the description below when it's done. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.